shapes of px py pz orbitals descending from above is an s orbital s orbitals are spherical and heavy and hold two electrons coming in now are the 3p orbitals px py and pz you can figure that p as propulsion the orbitals are 90 degrees to each other that is p orbitals upper all the orbitals together now and add in another s actually two s orbitals which is green in color with four heavy orbitals in a floating manner welcome to educate.com in this video we will learn about shapes of atomic orbitals the orbital wave function or psi of an electron in an atom has no physical meaning it is simply a mathematical function of the coordinates of the electron however for different orbitals the plots of corresponding wave function as a function of r which is the radius or the distance from the nucleus are different according to the german physicist max born the square of the wave function which is the psi square at a point gives the probability density of the electron at that point the variation of psi square as a function of r for 1s and 2s orbitals is shown here notice that the curves for 1s and 2s orbitals are different it may be noted that for 1s orbital the probability density is maximum at the nucleus and it decreases sharply as we move away from it on the other hand for 2s orbital the probability density first decreases sharply to zero and again starts increasing after reaching a small maxima it decreases again and approaches zero as the value of r increases further the region where this probability density function reduces to zero is called nodal surfaces or simply nodes in general it has been found that ns orbital has n minus 1 nodes that is the number of nodes increases with increase of principal quantum number n in other words the number of nodes for 2s orbital is 1 2 for 3s orbital and so on these probability density variations can be visualized in terms of charge cloud diagrams in these diagrams the density of the dots in a region represents electron probability density in that region boundary surface diagrams of constant probability density for different orbitals gives a fairly good representation of the shapes of the orbitals in this representation a boundary surface or contour surface is drawn in space for an orbital on which the value of the probability density psi square is constant in principle many such boundary surfaces may be possible however for a given orbital only that boundary surface diagram of constant probability density is taken to be good representation of the shape of the orbital which includes a region or volume in which the probability of finding the electron is very high say around 90% one may ask why do we not draw a boundary surface diagram which bounds a region in which the probability of finding the electron is say 100% the answer to this question is that the probability density psi square has always some value howsoever small it may be at any finite distance from the nucleus it is therefore not possible to draw a boundary surface diagram of a rigid size in which the probability of finding the electron is 100% boundary surface diagram for a s orbital is actually a sphere centered on the nucleus in two dimension this sphere looks like a circle it encloses a region in which the probability of finding the electron is about 90% thus we see that 1s and 2s orbitals are spherical in shape in reality all those s orbitals are spherically symmetric that is the probability of finding the electron at a given distance is equal in all the directions it is also observed that the size of the s orbital increases with increase in n that is 
the size of the 4s orbital is greater than that of 3s orbital, which is greater than that of 2s orbital, which is greater than that of 1s orbital. And the electron is located further away from the nucleus as the principal quantum number increases. In our next video, Shapes of Atomic Orbitals Part 2, we will learn in detail about the boundary surface diagrams of P and D orbitals. Thank you.